Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Pork here, the voice of hardcore boxing. Uh, I've just done Glen Rhodes. I interviewed him I mean, at his gym and plus he went alright there. I'm debating what to tell Nicholas put for the title. Glen Rhodes explosive, raw, intense beef. Could put that couldn't we? But oh, I don't know. We're not view whores, are we? Uh, we're not view whores. Have a look. Uh, destination from destinations. Don't need sat and have now, do we? Yeah, I enjoyed that with Glenn. He's uh, going to. Where did he say he were going to? New York or something. Muhammad Ali training camp in Pennsylvania. So that's good, isn't it? If that's where he's going with Tommy Frank. Uh, you know what I mean? We both said what we thought about the fight. It were life and death for, t for little Tommy, wasn't it? But he's got that out of way now, hasn't he? A few miles on clock. Tommy's peeing blood. I mean, that can't be nice for him, can it? Do you know what I mean? But it's boxing, isn't it? You can't win. You can't go in ring and not get wet. Tyson Fury is very elusive. He got caught, didn't he, by a punch the other day? And his eye opened up like a marshmallow, didn't it? It's boxing, isn't it? It's a fight. It's a fight. Anything can happen. It's a fight. Look. Tyson got caught, Tommy got a little cut, and he were, in a, he, he were rough housed, but you know, he got the W. Sometimes you've got to grind it out. I thought Sonny Edwards is were a masterclass, these win, though, no, wasn't it, really? But he didn't get the guy out there, did he? Tommy didn't get his guy out there, but I don't think Sonny would have got that guy out there that Tommy's just fought. He was that tough. He won a tough fight. People will make a big issue, oh, you, 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 you work for Dennis and you're saying that Tommy got beat. I thought he got beat, but that's it, isn't it? It's a fight, isn't it? It's an opinion. You know, I had a chance to watch the fight again on TV, but I'll, I'll say it as I see it, Wayne. I thought he got beat. Obviously, my words didn't go down. Went down like a lead balloon, but you know, it's boxing, isn't it? It's the industry that we're in. It's one of them things, but sporting icons tonight it's on channel. Looking forward to that, sporting, so should be interesting shouldn't it, 10 to 3, 10 to 3, do you know what, I could have, uh, I, had, I had a chance to get this car today, earlier today, and 800 quid and I sold it for a thousand, but I've got these interviews to do. And somebody just texted me now saying they've nipped in and got it. So, if that ain't dedication, I don't know what it is. I mean, look at this here, sweating my arse off in traffic, middle of Sheffield Town Centre. When I should really be on my way back from Rotherham with a Nissan Micra, making 200 quid for probably an hour and a half's graft. Take it straight to the jet wash and then drop it off and pick my money up. I put in boxing first, so. Sometimes you've got to get your priorities right. There'll probably come a time where I have to say, no, no, I've got to do this. But that time ain't come yet, so I'm pretty fortunate, aren't I? But, oh, I love boxing, don't I? But destination, address entry, town, Sheffield.
The route is being calculated. Please follow the road for 700 yards. 2.3 mile. So, so yeah, it's, that's Glyn's done. Tommy, uh, don't need to get Tommy on yet. Do we can catch up with Tommy anytime? I'll catch up with Tommy when he comes back from Deer Lake. Uh, Let's hope some of that Muhammad Ali magic rubs off on Tommy because I'm going to push Dennis now for that fight with Sonny Edwards. I think it's a good fight. Uh, I want to see Sonny Edwards in a test. He hasn't had a test yet, has he? He's not had a test. Is, is, is Sonny Edwards that good that he might never be tested? Are his skills off at charts? Well, I think he's best out at Brothers. Some people don't. Some people do. I think he's best out at two of them. Uh, I'm making a favourite fighting Tommy. I make him a favourite, but I also think that Tommy has got enough in his locker, if he performs out in his skin and grinds it out, takes T Sonny into deep water, which is all he, what, which is his probably game plan to beat Sonny. It's no good trying to sit there and be technical with Sonny, is it? Carl Froch tried that with Andre Ward, didn't he, for the first seven rounds, didn't work, did it? So, but, it is what it is, isn't it, but, Trying to get into my uh, spot there, mate. I want to try me set on solids now. Red chicken. You have something in your tum, aren't you? But I think it's an hard fight with Tommy, but I think it's a winnable fight. Well, let's get it on. Let's get Christmas out of the way. And we'll get Dennis to ring Sonny's team up and let's get it mad. Alright, let's get it on, because we don't get along. Where's all this traffic coming from? Let me know if you still want that, yeah? Alright. Let me know, yeah? So, I've got your size anyway. Alright, size 10, aren't you, trainers? Let me know. Uh, if not, I'm going to stay in Sheffield now, tonight. Alright, mate, cheers. Old fighters won, that's good, isn't it? If you want to box, right? Look at all the shows. We well, give it a gold star, don't we? It's hard to reach fight. The more gold stars you get for the show, the better the show. Some fights don't even have a gold star. That means we're a crap fight. Two of the guys with, with bad losing records fighting kids that are turning over. So there's nothing you can do about that, they have to be tested, don't they? But box like Dennis just shows three stars over there, which are, it's 
not bad, is it? I suppose. But Steffi Bull's show got one star on Saturday, and that was one star for Tomlinson's fight. The others didn't get a star. Uh, but they can be competitive fights and turn the form book on its head, can't they? So it is what it is, but we like to see Anthony Tomlinson in a test now. Oh, now he's got a belt. There'll be no hiding for him. He'll be hunted now. He's got a belt. Oh. Well, it's all good stuff, isn't it? Look at this here. Traffic here is shocking. There's something fundamentally wrong with Sheffield Town Centre and I've got to go a couple of miles across town and look, inch to inch. Not good. Not good at all. Demry and I'd be taking me through all shortcuts. But I'll tell you what's a good little fight. Darren Tetley against Tyrone Ness. I think that's a good one. It's one I'd like to see. Definitely. It's a good fight down at Liners, I think. Sorry mate, I'm not letting you in mate, I've got things to do. Please take the second exit at the square and follow the A61. This is going to be ages, so peace out. Keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing. We'll continue this another time, but this is a, 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 just a finish basically to Glen Rhodes interview. I hope you enjoyed it. Where Glen always speaks openly and honest. That's all you can do in this game, isn't it? So, alright.